Hi everybody! We're here again with more math challenges. Today we are going to work on the subtraction of fractions using the least common multiple. Wow, that sounds challenging! Let's begin! Subtraction of fractions by LCM method Introduction LCM using common multiple method Let's subtract two fractions by finding the least common multiple. That is LCM using common multiple method. 2 by 4 minus 1 by 8. We see that the denominators are not the same for both the fractions. Let's make the denominator same by finding the common multiple of the denominators 4 and 8. Multiples of 4 equals 4, 8, 12 and so on. Multiples of 8 equals 8, 16, 24 and so on. We see that 8 is a common multiple of 4 and 8. So let's make the denominators same as 8. We multiply the denominator of the first fraction with 2. That is 4 times 2 equals 8. Since we multiply the denominator, we multiply the numerator with the same number. That is 2 times 2. We get 4 by 8. Now the denominators are the same for both the fractions. That is 8. We write the denominator as 8 and we subtract the numerators. 4 minus 1 equals 3. The answer is 3 by 8. Let's look at another example. 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3. We see that the denominators are not the same for both the fractions. Let's make the denominator same by finding common multiples of the denominators 2 and 3. Multiples of 2 equals 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. Multiples of 3 equals 3, 6, 9 and so on. We see that 6 is a common multiple of 2 and 3. So let's make the denominator same as 6. We multiply the denominator of the first fraction with 3. That is 2 times 3 equals 6. Next, we multiply the denominator of the second fraction with 2. That is 3 times 2 equals 6. Since we multiply the denominator, we multiply the numerator with the same number. That is 1 times 3. We get 3 by 6. Since we multiply the denominator, we multiply the numerator with the same number. That is 1 times 2. We get 2 by 6. This becomes 3 by 6 minus 2 by 6. Now the denominators are the same for both the fractions. That is 6. We write the denominator as 6. And we subtract the numerators. 3 minus 2 equals 1. The answer is 1 by 6. So Tiger, did you understand the concept? Yes, I did. But like you say, we have to practice as much as we can for it to seem easy. You got that. 